Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Mr. Nor14 and today I want to talk about an error issue that's going on with the new Blink XT cameras. Now, I just got mine. I've had it for about three days now. And the issue that I ran into early this morning was this issue. Now, I got it on my phone here. I had to put it really close. Now, remember, this is a picture because I knew by the end of the day I'd probably have a solution for it. And what it's saying there is pulse error. So, basically, every time I'm using my XT cameras and my XT cameras only, what's happening is, is that it's not saving anything from them. As you can see, it doesn't even have a name for it. All the triggers, the motion is off and everything and all the sensitivities are all the way to the left where they shouldn't be and it won't save anything in these two XT cameras that I have so it won't save any of the settings so usually when you get a pulse error parse error excuse me you, you usually know that that deals with the software so somewhere it's a software issue so basically I'm going to assume that it's in the Blink software, okay, and that was my theory. It's going to be in the Blink software because they're basically updating this stuff every week, you know, and I know when I had update 1.8.3, it was working perfectly. Now, they just moved up to update 1.8.5, and I believe that is the issue with the, the this software problem. And so basically what it's doing is that, you know, when you have your cameras, it's not letting you save the settings, you know, so you're not at your default settings or anything, you know, to make your, but you can't save anything. Your, your camera doesn't have a name. And every time you try to take a picture or do something, that parse error comes up. So basically I say, okay, let me send this message to them so that they know that their software is acting up and let them know that it's dealing with the camera. So I basically got this message from their guys, you know, saying, yes, we know there's an issue with the software and we should have a fix probably by the end of the day. Well, that's an issue for me because I need my camera working, you know, so this is their letter to me right here and uh, so it says hello Frank I'm just gonna read to you because it's kinda hard to see we're sorry that you're experiencing this issue we discovered a bug with our Android app that is causing this issue yeah you mean I discovered this and I sent it out to you and now you're trying to fix it but I've already got a fix for you guys but let me keep going I'm just I'm just being a little funny uh, with that but it says our app developers are working to resolve this issue and will publish an update app to the Google Play Store later today we appreciate your patience while we work to resolve this issue as quickly as possible be sure to check the Google Play Store later today for an available update to the Blink app so and that was Marvin thank you Marvin if you out there dude so I wrote them Blink XT front door camera says parse error would not save any information to software like name of camera or any camera settings. You know, I wanted to be precise to them so they could know what was going on, you know, with their, uh, with their system. So like I said, anybody who knows anything about computers, you know, parse error is a very old, old thing that, that happens to, to applications. And it basically just means that, you know, the software didn't install properly so basically the dot apk of the blink software that's on google play is basically not downloading properly that's because they're going in and doing all these updates okay they're doing all these updates and because of these updates you know they're messing with their files and their settings you know that's in there and so when you do all that all the time and you ain't doing a proper check you know to make sure the software is stable and everything they, you get issues like this but I am going to say they on the ball I'm pretty sure because usually it takes a whole day for them to respond 
And they probably responded to me in about three to four hours. And it usually takes them a whole day before I actually get a response about, you know, really what the issue is. But I'm just going to pat myself on the back and say that I solved that problem. And I mean, I showed them that problem, but now I'm going to show you everyday people how to simply solve this problem. So if your phone is having this issue, the update is not out yet. So this is what you do to solve that issue. You click on settings. Okay. In settings, you go into more. Okay. And then you're going to go into security. Is the first thing you're gonna your first thing you're gonna try to do, and this is a Samsung phone. Um, this is 5.01 or 5.1 Android, whichever one Kit Kat lollipop sucker stick, whatever they call these things now, some type of candy or fruit. But you see this unknown sources? Check that box. Then go back to the Blink software and see if it works. Okay. Then if it still doesn't work. What you need to do is to go into your phone, go into about, about device, and then find here where it says build number. Okay? What you're going to do is you're going to hit that build number seven times. Okay? Then you're going to go back out of there. Then you're going to go to developer options. Okay? And what you're going to get to pop up now is USB debugging. Okay, so basically check that box. Okay, then go back to your software and see if it's working. It's either one of those issues. Now, the first thing we pushed on was the unknown download services. So, what that does is it says, okay, you can go to other places besides Google Store to get the Blink app and download it on your computer and it will download correctly. See what that does is this, it it does funny things because you know it's saying okay you can only get this app at one place okay so then you're just saying okay we're gonna take care of that now I can get this app at any place then you try to download the app and see if the app is working if that doesn't go then it might be a debugging issue okay so then like I did I would you would go to your settings Okay, and you would go to about devices and you would hit the the build number seven times and then that would bring up the debugging if it's not already up in your developer part already. And then you would go down to developer options on your phone settings and, and with Samsung it's more. You go to the more and then you go to the developer options. Then you go on there and then you check uh, debugging. And that's also going to help the software download correctly. So, now that we've done all that, let's see if the app is actually working here. Okay, so, I'm going to pull up the app here. As you can see, got all my cameras. Now, the ones I was having issue with, every time I would say, hit this right, you know, to take a picture of my outside camera, it would say, parse, or parse, parse error. Now, as you can see, that error is gone now. Okay? So now it's letting me take pictures as well. If I go into the camera, it should save everything. You see, my settings are saved. Remember that everything was all over to the left for the retrigger and the sensitivity, and it didn't have a name up there. So I got that out at the front door. So now I'm not getting any of those issues. So. If you're still waiting on that update that they claim going to come out sometime later today, that is the fix to basically solve the problem. Okay, I hope this helps you. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, please uh, leave a message for me. I'll be more than happy to walk you step by step through the procedure so that you can get that up and working so that you can feel safe and secure that you got your home monitoring system, not home security system, but your home monitoring system up and running with the Blink uh, XT as the regular and the regular Blink cameras. So this is Nora I'm out. Hope I help. If I did, please hit like so that more people can know that there's a solution out there for them. Um, before they actually get that solution on the blink side with the actual software. 
So this is Noir Mouthpiece. 